Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric wall trim line telephone and this is Gloria and Gary's equipment from New Jersey and we just finished off another trim line earlier and now we want to start on this trim line this is the initial checkout of this telephone we want to go ahead and look the telephone over and I want to give you a look at this this is the trim line with the round buttons a lot of the trim lines had more of the rectangular buttons or the square buttons and this is the round button dial here that we have so that's pretty cool basically it's an older style telephone I want to give you a look at the inside we have the cover loose if you've never seen the inside of one of these telephones and it has the original style modular cord for the handset that they started out with so it's a much larger plug than we know of today the more modern type it's very small so that's at both ends it's at the base unit too we want to give you a look at the base unit We also want to show you the base, and that would be our older style modular plug that they were using when they first started out with the modular ports and plugs, and then they moved on to the smaller size. Now this telephone here has some wires hanging off the network, but we need to install a modular port so that Gary can simply walk up to this telephone after he's mounted it on the wall and plug right into the modular port with any line cord, any length, any color and it makes for a simple plug and play connection. As you can see there's no way to connect this telephone to the wall. Usually these telephones hung on a wall jack. You just put them on the wall jack and then you slid them down and they would hang on the wall. This one is mounted it's, it's an older trim line and you mount it directly to the wall and that's why we're going to be installing a modular port in this unit so Gary can simply walk up and plug any line cord into it. Now there's another issue with this telephone. The bell doesn't ring very well so we're going to go ahead and work on some other issues and we'll come back and look at the bell situation. We know that it also needs a polarity protect circuit. It's of the age where it does not have a polarity protect circuit. And we want this telephone to go ahead and work no matter where Gary plugs it in. So we'll be installing a polarity protect circuit also in this unit. So we want to get a start. We're going to take a short break and uh, we'll go ahead and get some more video of this telephone as we move forward in the repair and conversion so we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are in the middle of the process of repairing this trim line telephone and earlier we mentioned that the bell was not ringing properly and so we have everything apart in the base unit we're also getting ready to install our modular line port on the inside of this unit and we are getting ready to install our polarity protect circuit but we have to deal with the bell issue also and I have the bell or the telephone connected up the bell is loose from the base of the telephone and I want to show you real quick we're going to use the analyzer to ring this bell and I'm not sure how it's going to react on the video, but it's a very low ring. It's real muffled and it's not working properly. So we're going to go ahead and use the analyzer and we're going to ring the unit.
that's a very poor ring. Now it is on the high setting. I'm going to put it on the low setting in a ring cycle. That muffled it even more. I'll let it go one more time. We'll turn it all the way up. That's all the way up. I'm going to let it go one more time. We'll go ahead and stop the ring cycle. So what we need to do is we need to troubleshoot the bell. We need to find out what's going on and we need to troubleshoot the bell circuit. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break. We're going to repair the bell issue and then we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with a repair and conversion of this trim line wall telephone. And we're going to run through a little bit about what went on. We went ahead and replaced the bell. This bell is bad, and there's no saving it. There's just too many issues with it, so it was replaced. And we can set that to the side. It's of no use to us. We also want to show you our pickup here. That is an amplified pickup, and that's so that the audio can be heard from the receiver when we do our final checks. We also installed a modular port line adapter so that any line cord, any length can be used when connecting this telephone up. Makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We also installed a polarity protect circuit in the base of this unit so that it can be plugged in in any modern jack and it will always dial out properly. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start our final checks. And we're going to go ahead and ring the unit and we're going to let that go a few times because that was one of the issues. let it go a few more times I'll let it go one more time I'll turn the amplifier on and we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone now we want to dial our numbers out if you watch the analyzer you'll watch the numbers roll by I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle it's dialing out it has transmit and receive we have a button here on the switch box and when I push that that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we'll call a time and temp number so we want to go ahead and give you a dial tone and we'll give you that number here Now we can go ahead and hang up and we can call my number and it'll be busy. We'll give you some dial tone.
hang the unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Glory and Gary, and they can enjoy this telephone now. It's a very cool Western Electric, older style wall trim line. A very cool telephone. These are very sought after, and I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where they install it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.